Now that we know that this shutdown is going to end, the Senate is going to be holding its vote shortly. What we are anticipating is that uh, the government will be open until February 8th because that's when the funding runs out. What's the likelihood we're going to be right back here again before February 8th? Because all we've done really is push off the immigration uh, issue until then. Yeah, Scarlett, I think that the likelihood is pretty high. I, I think, frankly, this issue, the issue of immigration, is so intractable. It's so difficult for people in the Congress to deal with. If you look back historically, how many times have we thought that we were close on a deal to fix the U.S. immigration system? You can go back. Each of the last few Congresses, this has been an issue. There's no reason to believe that this issue is going to be resolved in the next couple of weeks. So I tend to think that we may be back here again. The question is going to be whether whether Democrats will continue to insist that this issue be resolved in return for financing the government. It seems to me that's an untenable position, as they discovered with the current shutdown. Lonnie, why do we have to keep going through this? In other words, is it, is it a structural problem or a political problem that we keep seeing the budget being held hostage, whether it's immigration this time or whatever political issue du jour? Is there a way that this can be avoided? You know, the answer, Julie, is it's both. I think there's both a political failure, but there's also a systemic failure. We have this problem in part because lawmakers see this as a tool for negotiation. They don't see it as something that has to get done for the good of the country and for the good of our economy. Indeed, a lot of the uncertainty we're seeing around the budget that comes up year after year is because people don't realize how serious of a thing this is. If you think about, for your viewers who are involved in, in, in the private sector, who are involved in enterprises, none of them would even dream of trying to run their enterprises in this way. This is completely dysfunctional. Yet the people we send to Washington here in the United States don't realize that what they're doing is really creating these self-inflicted wounds. So that's sort of the political issue. Now, structurally, uh, we would be much better off if we did a normal process where there was a budget resolution, where there was appropriations against that budget resolution on a yearly, or perhaps we'd do this once every two years. That'd be the way to fix this. But there is no end in sight to the kind of paralysis we're seeing, unfortunately.